A link to the code for this shader is in the description. This is a new 3D outline shader that I've been working on. I'm going to make a mesh instance, add a cube mesh, add a spatial material to the mesh, click the material, scroll all the way down, click next pass, click new shader material, click it, and then I'm going to load my outline shader. To make this easier to see, I'm going to increase the border width of the shader and change the color. So now we have a pretty apparent outline for our cube mesh. But there is more. I'm going to get back into the shader. We can add patterns. Now it's going to, going to appear black until I increase the line sharpness and add some lines. It's like so. I can make that even sharper by increasing line sharpness all the way to max. Looks pretty good. But I want to add some movement. So I'm going to click line movement and then increase the line movement speed. Not too bad looking. I'm going to go back to my shader, deselect line movement and click pulse. Increase pulse speed. And now we got a pulse effect. If I decrease my line number, it creates this effect. Not too bad looking but I want to stop the pulse and go back to line movement. And if I decrease the line speed, it creates this effect. Looks pretty good still. Again, we can change colors. Just like that. And I'm gonna go back to red. Okay, and if I deselect line movement, uh, pattern, and click wave, it'll be a uh, horizontal shift now. I can increase the line movement speed and also increase the number of lines, kind of make it a little sharper. Increase, decrease gradients, doesn't matter. Whichever you like. Personally, I like this effect. If I can bring it up. I'm going to decrease the borders. And again, this is set as a next pass to an already existing material. So you can always change the materials color. Doesn't look too bad. And I can also change the direction of the um, kind of the interpolation by bringing this down to a negative number. Okay, that's all there is, or just about all there is to it. Um, you can play around with these uh, parameters and uh, get a setting you like. Um, this shader doesn't quite have all the features that I um, want because I eventually want to add more of a rainbow gradient or additional colors to the uh, to the lines and things like that, and also um, make it so that. Uh, I get more of a consistent pattern. So I want to have this pattern down here. And I'm not quite up to that uh, level yet as far as my shader knowledge is concerned. But I'm sure most people would actually just be happy with, you know, having a standard border that they can enlarge or increase or decrease to their liking.
All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, I will be upgrading this shader in the future um, to have some of the more uh, functionality that I um, need. But uh, I think many people, including myself, will find this shader very useful. Okay, thanks for watching.